that's ridiculous. We can all survive together pretty damn well. Okay, you, you disagree. Whatever. You know, I'm using survival as the basis of, of these values here. And I'm still not... Yeah, and I'm using suffering and the zero-sum math that I say exists. I mean, it's zero-sum math. I mean, unless we do this life thing perfectly, this conscious thing perfectly, okay, we're going to run a net... We're going to run a red figures because all of our, our desire is a lie, okay? It's a lie imposed on us. Okay, the attractiveness, the want, it is that is imposed on us. It is not rationally built. We don't build it out of our reasoning, logical brains and then create it in ourselves. No, it exists. We can enhance it with our psychology. We can manipulate it with our psychology, but its existence is not, it doesn't exist as a philosophical concept. It exists as a biological concept. Telling you you have to have the values. You want to blame me for, well, what about people that don't think life is all worth living and you're going to condemn them? No, I'm not condemning them. They can build and... Oh, it's not that the word condemn meant was intended is what it is, all right? They'd have to live to a certain age where you'd respect them enough when they said, fuck you, I want out. So if they get leukemia at six years old, are you going to let them die peacefully and gracefully? Or are you going to enforce them to have therapies and do this and get full of chemicals and all the rest of that crap? Uh, you know, you're going to let them make the decision about what their life means to them? I mean, it gets a little fucking complicated. And I'm just saying that's what I mean by the imposition. You're saying, yes, let's play the game some more. And and if you happen to inject life on somebody who's not real interested in your game, uh, there's no way you can compensate for that. You can't undo it. All right? So you just, it's stuck. It's just a liability. It's a risk of your behavior. That's my, you're deciding to take risks with consciousnesses that aren't your fucking own. And I'm just saying that's pretty fucking arrogant. And I'm just saying we should have a little bit of pause. That's what I used, pause. I didn't say stop. I didn't say reverse. I said, I didn't say eject. I said pause. And we're just supposed to st hit the fucking pause button and reflect on the goddamn thing a little bit and say, yes, maybe we should make sure we have something in, maybe we should make sure the bridge is built before we push somebody else's car towards the ravine. A virtual reality. I'm just saying that I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want my taxes or my effort or anything or cooperation going into building, you know, virtual reality for Right. So and I can make the same argument about any civilization you want to create, some world where we keep pushing cars towards ravines where we don't have a bridge built yet. I don't want to have any part of that. I don't want to have I don't want to contribute to that one little tiny fucking bit. Someone like Adolf Hitler, and, you know, that's an example you've used, that he could do his Holocaust stuff in virtual reality, that'd be fine. No, I don't want to make fantasy lands for crazy knuckleheads and then fool them. Well, what's the definite deal, this whole idea of crazy knucklehead? Again, you know, from a higher well, frame of reference, one could say that every meat eater is a crazy knucklehead. I mean, I think if we survived another 500 years as a civilization, uh, you know, people won't be eating animals anymore. They won't be farming them and torturing them and abusing them and harming them anymore. And it, people will look back at uh, these fucktards here now doing that and saying, well, isn't that disgusting and awful? What, what disgusting and depraved creatures they were. So what's, what is that bullshit? All right? And so what? You, no virtual reality for any of these meat eaters then? Is that the, the, the context? I mean, come on. It's, it's just a pile of shit. You, you know, to, to, to put these qualifications on something, especially, like I said, it's virtual reality. The whole point is, is they are indulging in their fantasy. So would you not make a video game where somebody can drive a car and hit a pedestrian? Would you make it impossible for a pedestrian to be hit in some car video game because it's wrong to hit people with cars? I mean, that's just stupid. Them into thinking it's reality so that they live these lives that confirm all of their bigotries as being powerful. If I did make a game for where you could pretend to be Adolf Hitler, you'd end up burning in a ditch 
at the end just like he did. <laughs> well, yeah, that would be pretty lame of you then to make a, a video game where the, 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 there is no breaking the rules of what happened in historically. So if, if we're obligated to live out history the way history turned out, that would be pretty stupid. Or if we have to live the future as, what, you predict the future and there can be no wavering from what the, the, the you know, populace thinks the future was going to be? I mean, the whole point is to have imagination and let people indulge their imagination and the fact that you would just run over that idea um, is is laughable. I mean, what what would what would your in virtual if you, you were designing your game, virtual reality game? So if somebody was a little bit aggressive sexually, you would you wouldn't let them do anything aggressive sexually in virtual reality? I mean, you know, it's just, it's just silly. You know, setting yourself on fire with your uh, with your new bride and. Uh, because that's what ought to happen to someone like him. He sh shouldn't be uh, extended this uh, this this protection by by whom by whomever the builders of the system are and maintain it and spend that for that. I I'm not into that. I don't want. Well, whether you're into it or not is irrelevant. The point is, all human psychology is built out of the same crap. You're all, you're all you cannot live on this earth without you know jeopardizing something else's interests. All right, and so if you're saying, well, you can only do it this big or this much or this much, and you can't do it this much. And in virtual reality, the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter how much it is because it's virtual. There are no real victims, so there is no real crime, so there's no real point in deterring crime because there's no victims, damn it. I want to make those kinds of fancy uh, fantasy worlds for them. Uh, there's nothing, I, nothing, so what they get their gratification, I don't care. I believe gratification in the real world leads to ramifications where you get more sophisticated, you know, uh, gratifications. Yeah, and where's the evidence of that? Are, you know, there's no evidence that our gratifications are getting more sophisticated. They're getting, they're getting sillier and stupider all the time. And video games are a perfect example. I mean, what, what, the, the video games aren't, um, you know, they're going to the lowest um, part of our psychology, not the highest part, because that's where we have the most fun. We like the lard and, and you know, fried lard. I mean, that's the way we want it. We want fried lard. You know, you, you you see it all the time. You know, somebody, they're young, they like some thrill, they have a few spills, and maybe they still even appreciate it, but they don't like it so much. You know, they stop doing it. It takes a certain cost, and you evaluate, you know, because of the feedback. You know, and video games are fun, and it's cathartic, and it's like a lot of things we take control. It's like, you know, pain is there. Look, the, the bottom line of this subject is, is that what are we built by, and how are we built, and what are we built for? And we're built by a DNA molecule to consume and reproduce, and we, our ancestor did that successfully, and it wasn't by any fucking elegant rules, okay? It was very inelegant rules uh, that, that, built, that success was built out of. Um, very selfish, <laughs> nepotistic gang warfares. Nothing much less than that. Much more than that. Um, so, 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 you know, what, what do you? What game are you playing? There's nothing in our innate psychology uh, that 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 you know has us, you know, whatever, walking fields of daisies, you know, talking pretty words and saying, "God, I'm having a great time." That's not what thrills the human psychology to help us survive so you know when you're hurt yet you might get really hurt and you don't even feel the pain right away because your body needs to be able to get time to get out of the situation that's causing you damage and the next day it's going to throb and it's going to hurt you know but we can also use pain pills and take conscious control of that and vr vr is like that it's like taking conscious control of a fantasy and just having a great fantasy but see key to that is that you know that it's a fantasy well if you know it's a fantasy does that really make a lot of sense i mean if you're caught up knowing you're just fantasizing that's you know that's going to kind of break the whole it's a lot more fun if you think you're doing it okay if the fantasy doesn't get interrupted by some kind of thought saying Oh, that'll never happen, or I can't do, be doing that, or that's against the law. I mean, that's, that's not going to make the fantasy more fun. What's the fucking point of it? What's the point of the fantasy if there's got to be rules in the fantasy? You know, I'd be fooled into your delusion, which makes you insane, of thinking it's reality. 
or of thinking that somehow the real reality doesn't count anymore, that you're finally separate enough that you're just a, you're, you're, you've invented metaphysics. Well, what, what is the real reality? What, what exactly is the merit of the real reality? The real reality is a physical system, okay, that, you know, farted, a, 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 a reproducing cell, okay, without any intent, without any any functional, um, uh, like I said, no no rational cause, all right? And then that thing evolves over time by no rational rules, by no rules that have any concept of value or purpose or usefulness or productivity. The, the, the forces controlling that evolution had no conception of any of those concepts. They were not part of the rules, all right, and so, so what in that reality is there to value? Well, why, why should we be glued to that stupid and fucktarded reality?